In the United States, there are nearly 808,000 end-stage kidney disease patients. Of them, only about 26,000 people received a kidney transplant in 2022. Meanwhile, those that are left to wait on the transplant list face a huge risk. According to statistics, nearly 40% of them will pass away within 5 years. Kidney transplants are the best option for end-stage kidney disease, but just a small amount of patients can receive them. And this scarcity is a huge problem. Now imagine for a moment that all this could be solved by this animal. Imagine that anyone with a need for a kidney transplant could receive one in a timely manner because now transplantable kidneys are being actually factory formed. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for more than 10 years now. And I can tell you that what we are going to take a look today is one of the biggest breakthroughs I've ever seen in my career. Today, when this video is being published, marks the 51st day a kidney from a pig is filtering the excess creatinine and other uremic toxins while producing urine in a human body. Well, I know that this may sound like science fiction, but I can guarantee you that it is not. A kidney from a pig is actually filtering the blood and preventing the need for dialysis in a human being today. Actually, two different teams are publishing their discoveries in the field of xenotransplantation, the transplantation of organs from animals to humans. One group from the University of Alabama at Birmingham successfully transplanted pig kidneys into deceased human donors and found that they produce urine and filtered waste effectively. Another group from NYU Langone Health was able to get an even more significant result. They achieved a record of 51 days of functioning pig kidney in a human recipient. And this receiver was brain dead, all right, but his body was still functioning normally, except from a complete lack of kidney function. But when he received the pig kidney, he started to produce urine immediately. No sign of hyperacute rejection was observed. Creatinine levels were normal during the length of the study. Biopsies were performed and no evidence of rejection was found which is incredible in my opinion, especially because I believe that the very next step, which is transplanting a kidney into an unalive receiver, is much closer than most people think. More about this later on in this video. Now, one of the main obstacles in the way of something as huge as transplanting a kidney from a pig to a human receiver is the public opinion. I know that there are several people that are against the whole idea of farming genetically modified animals for xenotransplantation. But who wouldn't want readily available organs for transplant for everyone? Religious groups, animal rights activists, and many members of the general public have raised concerns about the ethical and social aspects of farming figs for xenotransplantation. So before we move on and see when kidneys from pigs are actually going to be available, there is a question I want to ask you. Would you want a kidney from a pig? Would you be okay with receiving a kidney from him? Write it down in comment section. Let me know what you think. And also keep in mind that awareness about the needs of people with kidney disease is another huge issue here. It's like People almost don't understand how life-changing could the transplant be for someone in need. So make sure you are sharing this video with your family and friends. A very important question now, how did they actually do it? How is it possible to transplant an animal organ in a human being without rejection issues? You see, in theory, a pig is the perfect donor for human transplants because its organs are similar in size and function to human organs. However, there is one major issue with getting an organ from a pig. The human immune system can recognize pig organs as foreign and attack them, causing something called hyperacute rejection. 
As the name implies, this means very fast damage to the implanted organ. It typically occurs just minutes after an animal organ is connected to the human circulatory system, but not in this case. To overcome this issue, scientists have used a technique called genetic modification to create pigs that can be used for human transplants. Yes, this guinea was obtained from a genetically engineered pig, a pig that was born in a lab. But it's not all. This last study marks another breakthrough in the field of xenotransplantation. In the past, a kidney from a pig was actually made safe for transplanted by deleting several pig genes related to the synthesis of various specific antigens. Today, a significant step forward was made. This latest study shows that there is no need to change several genes in the pig's DNA. Removing a single gene in the pig was enough for its kidney to perform optimally for at least 51 days in a human body without rejection. In particular, deleting the gene that encodes the biomolecule known as alpha-gal is key to avoid hyperacute rejection, says Dr. Montgomery, director of the NYU Langone Transplant Institute. Yes, these scientists were actually able to isolate the single gene that was producing antigens, which are molecules that trigger the human immune system to attack the pig organs. They just need to remove that gene with the wonders of bioengineering. Additionally, during the transplant, the pig's thymus gland, which is responsible for educating the immune system, was embedded underneath the outer layer of the kidney to stave of novel delayed immune responses. And yes, this is a lot more complicated than just, you know, taking a kidney from a pig. Which makes the result they obtain even more incredible. According to researchers, today using animal organs in humans is not a matter of if anymore. It's just a matter of when. So the big question is, when is animal kidney xenotransplantation going to be available for actual CGD patients who needed it? The answer depends on many factors, scientific progress, regulatory approval, public demand, and as I was saying, explaining ethical acceptance and public opinion. Yes, there are still people out there who would save a pig instead of a person dying from a kidney disease. But I digress. What really matters here is that there is a pig from a kidney today that is filtering the blood in a human body and there are also 808,000 people only in the US that are waiting for a kidney transplant. So when are they going to get it from a pig? Guys, if you follow me here regularly, you may still remember that a xenotransplantation on a live patient has already been performed in January 2022. Yes. They already put an organ from a pig in a patient that was not brain dead. A real, completely alive human being. He was called David Bennett and he was 57. The pig heart transplant was considered the last hope of saving Mr. Bennett's life. He was suffering from terminal heart disease and he had been deemed ineligible for a human transplant. So he was given the choice to receive a heart from a genetically modified pig and he was his only option. The operation lasted for seven hours and it was considered a huge success. His heart was strong, almost too strong for his frail body, but he had a strong will to live, said Dr. Bartley Griffith, a co-leader of the study. Mr. Bennett passed away, unfortunately, after about two months from the operation. The cause of his death was not related to the pig heart but to an infection in his lungs that he had before the surgery. The doctor said that his pig heart was still functioning well until his death and that they learned a lot from his case. This is why, in my opinion, the actual chain, this is why, in my opinion, the actual chance of receiving a kidney from a pig is closer than we may realize. So the question is, if you needed it, would you want a kidney from a pig? Write it down in comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And I know that obviously there are people who would prefer, you know, an organ that was completely created in a lab. 
an organ that could work in the human body without the need for anti-rejection therapy at all. Yes, I'm talking about the bioartificial kidney and there is some interesting news about it. And I'll talk about this and more in my recent video. Watch it now if you want to know more. It's up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.